welcome this is the energy vibration um, reading for the Libra Sun Moon and Rising sign I want to say thank you for being back thank you for the likes shares and support that you have been doing um, I'm so grateful thank you it is the third week of August 2017 the week beginning from the 14th until the 20th it is the week of fire you are an air sign so it's going to be ups and down a week of um, things the energy of the tower is going to come in and release things that no longer serve you and whatever is going to happen you're going to see a positive endeavors coming in your life so whatever situation that has been happening around you you're going to see extremely positive situations coming out in your life we are going to be working with the chakra energies we're working with the angels of the answers and we're working with the, the, e, the um, Oracle of the E also I'm using a new deck which is the um, deck of the orb um, the hobbits the obit the deck of the obits it's a wonderful deck I personally find it to be a wonderful deck in this week as I've said the energy is of fire um, the lightning is not so good so I'm going to use my glasses and what we're having here for you guys the number the, the the energy of the coins your financial situation you're working on your financial situation to make your financial situation better we have the six of swords which uh, you're leaving a situation behind that no longer serve you whatever that situation is you have the nine of ones you are, 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 are protective you're you're ready for whatever that is coming at you and you have the seven of ones that you're protecting yourself from negative forces that is coming in it's going to be a week where work is the most important situation that is happening in your life and I want to say um, to you to go back and listen to the monthly reading because with the monthly readings there are going to be information that will be coming out at you that is going to help you with whatever situation you're having the energy of the um, of, of, of the ones is here and you have the Queen of Swords so your own energy vibration is here the Queen of Swords so for the women this is going to be a profound week for you women whatever is happening in this week it is going to be a week where you have to find inner strength because I'm seeing judgment coming up for some of you women judgment coming up for some of you women um, and uh, some something fall out so you will also have the nine of cups um, for some people and and that what I'm and what I'm getting for some people is that the people who were working on a positive energy vibration you're going to have your wishes and dreams coming out for the rest of the people it's going to be a week of roller coaster it's gonna be a week of a roller coaster ride okay let's see what other energies are here for you um, you're going to have help on Monday um, help on Monday. Help on Monday. The major arcanas are coming out. The world is here. Okay. So, this, whatever is happening in this week, as we look, um, the number three is going to be a significant role. The number three, the number ten, number three, number ten, number three, and number ten, number two. So, number two, number three, and number ten is going to be your number energy vibration for this week. As we move on, um, on Monday, it's going to be an emotional day, it's going to be judgment, it's going to be judgment where information is coming at you. Whatever you have done. It's going to be a judgment call on you on Monday. Whoever you are out there and you have done something injustice to someone else, it's going to be a general, and it, it has to do with the women. Whatever you have done to someone out there, this is going to be a judgment call. So if you knew that you have been doing things that is injustice to another person, on Monday you're going to feel the backslash of this coming into you. On Tuesday, you have another a earth sign energy with water. So you have an earth sign energy of the three of coins. Some of you will be working with the queen of pentacles, who is a cancer, a Pisces, or a scorpion. 
whatever the situation is is that you and this person is trying to work against someone else be aware of this and be careful for some people it's going to be um, something good and I need to find out what is happening with you and this queen because you're trying to work on a situation because let's look I'm gonna go deeper in these readings let's look what is the situation with the six of swords on Monday what is the situation yeah okay okay what is the situation for you Queens you working with the Queen of Cups working with the Queen of Cups okay so again I'm saying to you guys whatever you are trying to work against someone on Tuesday be aware of what you're sending out because whatever you're sending out is going to come back to you and it's going to hurt as we look at the middle of the week and your crowning of your week you have the two of coins whatever the energy is uh, um, of the two of coins there is going to be a healing coming in for some people not for all people for some people so let's say you're a Libran that has been working hard to balance your financial and emotional situation the world the energy of an end of a situation is going to come out with the Queens of Cups and something new is going to come in so if you and <clears throat> work together with the Queen of Cups to do something that was unjust to another person it's going to bite you in the back okay it's going to bite you in the back so be aware of this on Wednesday for most of you who are working on the positive energy vibration whatever your emotional and financial situation is the energy of the world is going to come out and it's going to help you so this is good as we move forward as we move forward and we're looking at the energy of Thursday we have the five of ones the five of ones is um, conflicts competition conflicts ego your ego will be up on, on Thursday but be aware of what you're doing you need to have temperance and balance okay whatever the situation is for you um, deliverance because you're going at someone you're going um, in a way against someone but be aware of what you are doing because you need to have balance in your life whatever your situation is and I know you liberals can just peek it out and go in at someone and be aware of this because this is going to come back and and affect you in the future so be aware of this uh, um, competition and this conflicts that you are having have balance because if you're having conflict um, um, uh, conflicts with your partner and conflicts with people around you be aware because this is going to end up uh, to affect you in the future you liberals on Friday we have the energy vibration of the six of swords so a lot of endings are happening it is the week of um, the tower the week of the tower is removing things that no longer serve people in their life and this energy vibration of conflicts um, the six of swords and that sort of a conflicts uh, you are going to end up with a ten of coins okay so for the people who are working on the positive end whatever you're leaving behind you're going to move on to something and the energy vibration of the ten of coins so let's uh, let's think of what you can achieve with a ten of coins is a new house a new car money situations a vacation whatever you um, are looking forward to the energy of the ten of coins is going to bring it to you if you're working on the positive and I'm saying this again if you're working on the positive um, a positive um, uh, situations in your life on Saturday you have the nine of ones the nine of ones so Saturday is going to be the weekend is going to be a really fiery weekend whatever is coming at you you're ready um, to protect yourself and this has to do with a relationship so um, whatever you have the nine of wands is that whatever that is going on around you there is a relationship there is a situation in a relationship partnership relationship with your friends girlfriends boyfriends whatever it is whatever it's coming at you you are ready to support yourself and protect yourself from this situation 
the weekend is a fiery weekend you have also the seven of ones and the seven of ones is that you're springing off and going like and while dog a while um fox be aware of what you're doing because you have the energy of the ten of cups so don't ruin this wonderful positive energy that you have be careful of how try and protect yourself but not in an ego base way because if you do this you're going to end this you're going to bring an end so whatever it is in the family situation don't go at people and don't do as if you know everything because if you do this it's going to affect you the weekend is going to be a weekend that you are ready for anything that is happening and um, you are trying to protect yourself and your family you're ready for whatever is happening or you're trying to protect yourself and your family this is um, you know the energy of the weekend so be aware that the number 10 energy is always uh, happiness because you have the ten of Pentacles and the ten of cups whatever is happening for you Leo's you need to understand that this week is the energy vibration for the new li you liberals women uh, who, who you're working with as in the weekend whatever situation that is going to come up in the weekend is that you're working with someone who is a Leo of a Leo uh, Sagittarius or a Aries on on Saturday on Saturday you're working whoever has a relationship that is with a Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius this is the person that you're protecting yourself and you're ready to to go to go against this person if whatever should comes up uh, on Sunday you're protecting yourself and your family so whatever is happening you're trying to protect yourself and your family you liberals okay I did ask a question about Tuesday about uh, what ever the three of ones because you're working you're trying to work together with a woman and it's the queen of coins I'm sorry I said the queens of cups on Tuesday but it is the queen of coins whoever you're trying to work with okay because here we go we had the three of coins and then we had the king of coins the three of coins and the king of coins so this is actually very positive because this woman is always working at the eye energy vibration it's a Capricorn is a Virgo or a Taurus so whatever is happening is that you're working together with this person it's going to bring you positive energy and positive situations in your life whoever this person is okay it can bring you luck and whatever is happening it can bring you luck but it can um, it's as if this queen of coins is going to remove what is um, what is overshadowing you because you have here um, here the um, energy of the cloud so the black clouds uh, you know it's as if your luck was blocked it's as if your luck was blocked and whatever that was blocking your luck uh, this queen is going to remove uh, that um, situation from you which is a positive positive way of um, looking at it because whatever situation that was happening you're realizing that uh, um, situation in your life is going to be now cleared up because it's as if some of you some 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 of you were having um, blockages and these blockages are going to re be removed from you because the energy of uh, you know a, a good things opportunities and that sort of a thing coming in your life and uh, it's as if someone a discovery you know about something is going to happen and with that discovery the energy is going to be cleansed okay so on Tuesday the screen of um, coins which is a Capricorn a, a, a Virgo or a Taurus person is going to help you to see clarity in a situation on Wednesday again in the middle of the week you have uh, another hurt energy which is very good because this hurt energy is bringing balance to a lot of people life and th this hurt energy is bringing the energy of the universe the world to you so whatever that was on balance whatever your 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 daily bread your you know things that you need whatever your materialistic things whatever that was happening that was blocking you um, it's, it's it's been removed 
and Thursday you have the energy of the five of ones the five of ones is competition and you need to understand that you need to bring a calm to yourself you need to bring calm to yourself okay so remember your numbers is two three and ten um, it's going to be on Sunday a very um, connective family so on Sunday the 20th is going to be a positive energies you're going to be protecting yourself and yet still protecting your family from whatever that is out there that is going that is seems to be affecting you okay so whatever that has been happening whatever uh, situation that has come in your life and try to bring a lot of um you know development in your life but better to talk about secrets you know um confessing information so on the on, 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 on um yeah on tuesday it is better to tell and talk about secrets with this uh, um this virgo taurus or capricorn person because then you will um um, release uh, um, whatever the secret is will be revealed or it's better to talk about it and then the confusion uh, of information will be uh, you know cleared up so whatever the situation is talk to this uh, um, the, 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 this Capricorn um, Virgo or uh, Taurus person to clear up whatever misunderstanding there is on Tuesday on Monday, whatsoever was happening to you, Libras, and Monday, you're going to see because um, the love comes in, whatever the situation is, love comes in on Sunday. Whatever it is a week where you're trying to balance out certain aspects of yourself, your emotion, and things like that. And whatever that is happening, you have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles right beside each other. That's just saying that whatever your family situation is on Friday, you're going to have that money. That money is going to come in to you on Friday to help out whatever family situation you're having to deal with. Okay? Love for some people on Monday, love is going to play a significant role in your life, whatever is happening. Love is going to, whatever that you have done, um, or you know, someone, whatever you were done, whatever there was a situation with someone who you love and with money, love for money love cause um, material things love of money so remember I was saying to you on Monday whatever that you were doing be aware of whatever you were doing because there's going to be a judgment coming out and the end there is going to be a judgment coming out and the end of a situation and this has to do with the love of money because of some um, thing someone you did something because of the love of money It's as if you sold something that was not yours and you're going to come in problem and you did it because of the love of money you did it because you wanted you took someone information and sold it because of the love of money and this is going to come back and bite you know so on Monday you're going to have a judgment about it because someone the, the, the whatever you did is going to come out whatever you did you um, whatever you did is going to come out because you have done something that is illegal you have done something that is illegal little money you know whatever it, 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 it is uh, you have done something illegal because because of love um, it's as if you sold something that wasn't yours to make money or you did something that was illegal and it's going to affect you on and and on and um, on 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 Monday, so be aware of what you're giving out because love is not really in this week for you guys, except from you're trying to protect your family and trying to protect things. But you did something, and a secret is going to come out because on Tuesday you you need to speak and talk about the secret that you have and clear up whatever that is going on between you and this um um woman who is a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. As we look at this week, I'm asking the angels to show you what chakras you should be working on. The heart chakra. I thought as much that you guys need to work on your heart chakra because obviously there is something that isn't happening here. On Monday, you did something in the past or you're about to do something or you did something that is going to come out. Whatever situation you have, 
that is affecting your relationship with a Capricorn a Taurus or a Virgo person you need to um, confess to this person and, and 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 some people need to confess and some people need to resolve whatever situation your art chakra needs to be ill call upon Archangel Shamuel she is the guiding angels of your 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 heart chakra and ask the angels of love to help you to release whatever the situation is and to heal the situation you need to heal your art chakra whoever you are out there we're working with the funny angels cards and the angel answer cards. So we're going with the the E energies and what is happening for you Librans. Leap and love. Okay, so we have the art chakra, and 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 this is saying that some people out there um, are afraid to open up their art chakra. And what this card is saying, the energy of the E is saying leap in love. Don't block your heart chakra. When you are afraid to open up your heart to love, you block your own heart chakra. And we have the number seven and the number eleven. There's an opening that is coming in. So leap in love. Let's see what the energy of leap in love. Romeo and Juliet, Baggy and Balita. Um, they have got nothing on you. It's romance time, whether it's a new partner or falling in love, deeper in love with your own um, rocket star life. So it, it could be that some of you will be falling in love, but you are, um, your art chakra is not open enough for you to do that. So they're asking you to open up your art chakra. Act as if it has already happened. Everything as they say is coming up rosy only this time without the torn okay so say you had a relationship and there was so many ups and downs you have all different sorts of relationship you don't feel connected with these people and this sort of a thing they're saying that Romeo and Julia has nothing against you you know they want you to open up yourself to love they're they're saying whether it is a new partner whether is it that you're falling more deeper in love with your own rocket sign a rocket star life or whether it is yeah, you're becoming um, you know open up to the dreams and reality around you act as if it has already happened everything as they say is coming up rosy okay so when people say everything is coming up rosy that means they're saying to you that whatever um, you know open up your heart to love because some some of you your heart chakra is, is closed because you have been hurt in the past and you really do not want to open up your heart chakra some people think oh my god I don't you know I could really fall in love with this person but I really don't want to do that because I don't want to uh, fall in love and then get this same situation but that is what you're calling for so if a presence of someone is is in your life open up your heart chakra to that and ask for healing so you can love that person and and ask for the same love back and you will receive that so the angels I'm working with the angels answer Oracle also and let's see what she has to say peaceful resolution congratulations you guys okay whatever the situation was and I want to teach you guys a lesson whatever the situation was peaceful resolution and this is wonderful because I love the energy of peaceful resolution if there was a legal so a, 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 a legal situation and whatever the situation is there's going to be a peaceful resolution okay and you know whenever people steal other people's stuff and that sort of a thing and they get a peaceful resolution I, don't, I really don't think that they should get a peaceful resolution because I think you did something injustice to someone else you have no idea what you have put someone else through so peaceful resolution the challenges you have um, you are inquiring about are going to come to an end conflicts where conflicts will cast and soon be replaced with harmony there will be a sense of peace shared by all even if some only agree to disagree disagreements will be resolved in your favor this includes struggles with employees and and this is what it means okay so if you did something and you sold someone information or that sort of a thing it's not going to be peacefully resolved okay you're supposed to pay for what you have done so 
Um, this includes struggles with employers, legal battles. So, so legal battles can be for your kids, legal battles taken someone who have done you something. Um, archbishop, um, art, arbiter, and um, different sort of a things that you know someone has done you something. Even strife amongst family and friends. Be forgiving and understanding with those who may have been in error. Allow peace to come with grace and dignity for everyone. Allow peace to come. Allow peace to come with grace and dignity for everyone. But you know something, and I'm being very honest here, people. If someone have done you injustice, okay, you can forgive them but never forget them. And I would say to you, you owe them at arm's length at all times, okay? Because people, um, some energy vibration and some people think that you should forgive and forget. No, forgive, but remember what they have done. Do not let them have a second chance. For the people who have been injustice, um, uh, injustice has uh, come up against them, um, you know, and it is now resolved. Be happy, Ilya or Chakra. Forget, forgive these people for whatever they have done because whatever the situation is, forgive them for whatever they have done to you. You know, this is a sort of a situation that we need um, to have um, forgiveness. Whatever is happening, you, there is a peaceful resolution to a situation. So, you know, be thankful that this situation is done, but do not. Um, forget what this person have done because you know whatever people do me things I I forgive them but I'm not forgetting because um, I'm not letting you do the same thing over and over again okay someone a good friend of mine I was having this conversation with a good friend of mine last night and he said to me um, he, he, he told me the story which I'm going to, but the end, the the, 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 um, the end of the story was a lesson for myself also because it is it's, it's someone who you know, um, is 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 uh, the end. You know, it was a situation where um, someone try um to to eat a snake and the snake turn around and bite them. And it was a lesson for me because I've always tried to help other people, and they turn around and and uh, um, you know they do things that you you think really seriously. I was just trying to be a friend, and I was just trying to help you. So I see myself as that woman who brought in that snake that was freeze, that was totally freeze, and I heal the snake back to health, and then that person becomes healthy, and they kick you from the stool off. <laughs> you know that sort of a thing. So. Um, whatever is happening out there I want you to go back listen to the uh, month readings and their information and I want to say to each and every person thank you please like share these videos and understand where you are and how, how you're you're developing yourself and I'm saying namaste until next week